So we've taken our Paint Pot app here and we've slid the positive and negative buttons over to the left a little bit to make some room for a new button which is this photo button. Now as it is right now the app works just as it did before but what happens now when we press this photo button is that we get the camera. Now this is just a simulated picture on my uh, emulator because it can't see through the back of the PC so it shows this weird pattern and if you're wondering why it shows something like this is so that we can generate a custom or unique picture each time we pretend to take a picture on the emulator. So I'm going to just take a picture here and then these two uh, choices X and check uh, basically let us decide if we're happy with the picture or we can retake it. So I'm just going to accept this picture and you can see that that picture now uh, has been transferred as the background of the app and I can continue to draw here if I want to. That's basically the enhancement that we're going to build. Of course if you're running this app on a real mobile device instead of an emulator then you'll be able to take a real picture instead of this simulated one and you'll be able to use that then as the background for your app. Note however if your mobile device is not running a fairly recent version of the Android operating system you may not get various parts of this app to work on your device. If that turns out to be the case the only way you'll be able to demo your app will be through the emulator but that's okay. In this course we typically walk you through the basic app uh, and then ask you to build the enhancements by yourself. But for this particular project, adding the camera is so complicated, we've decided to give you most of the code. Still, it will be challenging to get it working. First thing we have to do, since we're going to use the camera, we're going to be uh, saving and retrieving pictures from the SD card on the device, or if we're using the emulator, the emulated SD card. Regardless, we're going to have to change the Android manifest file. So looking under the app manifest folder, if I double click on this Android manifest file, uh, what I've done is I've added these two lines of code which provide permission to the app at compile time uh, to access the external storage. And so we need that in order to be able to make effective use of the camera. However, starting with Android 6.0, which is Marshmallow, which is what we happen to be running in our app, this type of permission setting is insufficient. It's still required. You still have to do this. But starting with 6.0, you additionally need to ask the user for, for permission in real time as, as, as soon as you uh, need to access the picture from the, from the device. So in addition to this code, we need to write some additional code to ask the user per for permission. Let's look at the camera code. Now this code, I should mention, is given to you in the lesson that's provided along with this video. So you shouldn't need to type any of this in. You can just copy and paste it. Notice that I've enhanced the main activity file by adding uh, these variables. Uh, these variables up here are for taking the picture and these variables are used to get permission from the operating system. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add one more button and you can see I've added this button to the case statement here and I processed the button in exactly the same way I processed all the other buttons and I've set the action listener on click action listener for the new button and uh, we've got the case statement here and it calls this take picture method and here is the take picture method and I'm just going to go over some of this with you even though the code is given to you so what happens is we are going to create a new intent and what an intent does is it helps start another activity or app that's sitting in your phone from inside your app in this case we're going to ask Android to turn on whatever app is used to do image capture which will of course be the built-in camera app that's installed on the device and here we're going to create a file called picture.jpg 
which is going to store our image and this is the name of the file that's going to be stored on the SD card or the emulated SD card. Here we're going to be uh, basically creating a URI to be able to access uh, the image and here we are creating the intent and starting the activity. This take picture is a simply a, a number one uh, and it just indicates to the the device that we want to take the picture on the camera. Once the user has taken the picture and said that it's okay, we're going to automatically get called with this on activity result. It's going to have a result code and it's going to have some data associated with it. So we're going to check to make sure that the result was okay. And once we figure out that it's okay, we're going to dynamically ask the user for permission to read and write to the SD card. And the information of the code to do that is provided right here for you. Then we're going to basically uh, take the picture. We're going to convert it into a bitmap and then convert that bitmap into a drawable. And then we're going to uh, dynamically in the code change the background of the app to use that new drawable image that we have. We're also going to, as a debugging measure, uh, print out a toast message saying the name of the file that we're loading in as our background. Now you notice that I've got a try catch block here and this is required when you're working with this, um, this some of these uh, picture uh, methods and what's going to happen is if we get any kind of an error we're going to just print it to the Android error log. 